Well, Dr. Andrew Myerson joins me, a junior A&E doctor who works in London and was at one of the picket lines today. Um, Andrew, very good evening. Um, ju- just take me through the logic of striking just before Christmas. So uh, I'm, I'm a rank and file member of the British Medical Association. I'm not on the negotiating team, um, uh, but I have full faith in my union to act on our behalf and to act on the behalf of, of patients in our hospitals to make sure that on non-strike days, we have safe staffing. Because right now, on an average day in the NHS, right, you know, whatever the day, when, when nobody's on strike, we are not, patients are not safe because we don't have safe staffing levels. We have 150,000 NHS vacancies, double that in social care. We've lost 25,000 hospital beds in the last decade. We have a government that has repeatedly promised to fix social care, but has not. And so because of that, you're familiar with the, 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 you know, the difficulties of a patient comes into hospital, they are treated, and then they spend days and days at huge expense to the NHS because they can't get a social care place. Or patients that are waiting at home on the longest, uh, you know, uh, on the longest waits for an ambulance, um, that are coming to harm there, or you know, dying in the back of an ambulance. How, do, how does it, going know. on strike make these things any better? So, we desperately there are two major, you know, major problems. There are three major problems that exist in the last ten years that have that 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 affect you know why why we're on strike right now. One is massive underinvestment in the NHS four hundred billion pounds has been stolen from NHS budgets in the last decade. But there's also been no plan for NHS staff. And they have allowed, this government has allowed junior doctors and the pay of junior doctors to fall 10 times more than the average worker. That's why, that's why this, is a, this is a unique issue among junior doctors. We've seen our pay, uh, the value of our pay drop by over 35% in the last, in, in the last uh, 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 15 years. And that's you know, similar with our consultants, similar with our nurses and other allied health professionals. We have to we have to just uh, zoom uh, out for and, a second. And all of those groups have settled. Yeah. No, no, well, they well, well, they uh, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. They haven't. Well, the consultants so the, have. The nurses well, have. The, the consultants have not. The consultants. The consultant. There is a deal that is being put to the consultants, and they are going to consider it. And the BMA says, you know what? If they if they reject it, then we are going to continue striking. I I personally think that they that they will reject it. Um, I don't think it has it makes a material difference in 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 the working conditions or in their pay. Um, and so I hope that they reject it. Uh, but also, our nurses, our nursing staff, they were they essentially had a, a deal that was thrust upon them because they over one hundred thousand nurses voted to strike last year. But because of changes to the strike laws in this country, I think this was in twenty sixteen, making making the bar for going on strike even higher than it was before. Um, that prevented the nurses from still being on strike. But one hundred thousand of them voted to strike last year, and they will again. In the coming year, there but, is. But there is such, actually, well, we have to. Hang on, let's, but they voted to settle. Second. Yeah. What do you say? They voted to settle. No, they, 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 the, the majority of the majority of the committee that makes that decision voted to, and so it was, it was, you know, so they, they, they had to accept that deal and then uh, push the dispute to, uh, to the next year. But look, in 2024, this will continue, and we're seeing June, and we have to just zoom out for a second when every. When every you know group of workers within the NHS is voting to strike or has gone on strike, we have to ask ourselves, you know, is it is it the fault of each individual? You know, is it the fault of the junior doctors in Wales or in Scotland or in the or in, or, or in England? It's the fault of the nurses. Is there something unique to them? No. This is a this is across the board, a government that has for thirteen years. Underfunded Fine. and undermined. Vote them out the in a general system. election, then. Don't, and so we don't, have to listen to NHS workers yeah, when okay. they when they go on strike. We are not a strike happy group of people. Well, you, we understand you clearly are actually. Concept, you clearly that's are not, no, that's because not you're fair. going on strike just before Christmas, the worst time for patients. There will be people who are in hospital this Christmas because you have gone on strike. You know that. I know that. Anybody knows that. It's a cruel you know thing that- to do. It's a, I'll tell you what's a cruel thing to do. A cruel thing to do is, is, to, is to know, and this government knows this, that 500 people are dying because of delays accessing NHS emergency care every single week in this country. 25,000 people will not be at their Christmas table this, this year because this government failed to fix the system so, so well enough and, to so save you're, their So you're lives. adding to that. Can you not see no, that no, no, you're no. adding to that? But so 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 Ian, so this let's let's rewind. You're, for you're a adding second. to the as, waiting list. You're adding to the number of people in hospital this Christmas. I think that's pretty disgraceful. 
I think it's disgraceful that this government has has yeah. has inherited. What about her? You can't it, actually answer the question. No, so all you no, indulge no in is what about her? No, what about her, sir? Sir, I have to. I cannot. I cannot look at a single symptom of the disease right now, which is because no, you're doctors. on strike. Well, I can't. I can't look at a single symptom of the disease and not look at the overall disease itself. And the overall disease itself is the is this intentional intentional collapse of the NHS that used to be ten years ago the best healthcare system on the planet. No, it, it really was. Ten, no, no, it wasn't. Um, how, it how do you work that was. out? You look at outcomes. You well, look at outcomes in the at, NHS compared to other countries, and in sir, many many areas, at, not, we are well down the league I, table. It is, it is right now, perhaps. No, no, right no. Now, perhaps, then. No. Look at, ca- look at you're cancer not, you're not. outcomes 10 or 12 Sir, years ago, Ian, and Ian, they were Ian, terrible Ian. in this country, and they still are to an extent. And they needed to be, they needed to be improved, and we yeah, needed to well, continue we can agree to improve on that, them. At least. I'm, not, I'm not making this up. This is from the Commonwealth Fund, a very respected health policy think tank that looks at the rankings of, of, of health systems. 10 years ago, you guys were ranked the number one healthcare system in the, in, in the world. There was not a single country on the planet that was delivering a higher quality healthcare for such bargain prices. Was everything perfect? Absolutely not. But patients, think about it from the patient perspective. 10 years ago, patients could see a GP in 24 to 48 hours. It's now taking two weeks. 10 years ago, patients could see to be seen in A&E in four hours. It's now taking up to 24 hours sometimes. Patients are waiting on the longest, having well, the longest cancer and, waits right and, now and if you, in NHS history, and they're and, waiting on the longest waiting list. That was 7.2 million you, people if you blame, before we even went on strike. And if you blame the government for all of this, which clearly you and many other people do, and, and, mm. and in some cases, so do I, then you vote them out. You're not going to, get, you're not going to change absolutely. things by, by doing what you're doing. Well, look, that, that, look everybody, the, 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 this is a pay dispute. This is the, the, the British Medical Association has the has the authority of the rank and file members to to continue with this dispute because we have lost thirty five percent of our pay and we are seeing hemorrhaging levels of, of, of staff leaving to go work in the private sector, leaving to go work in Australia and New Zealand, and also people this is terrible, people committing suicide in record numbers because it's just too too difficult. That's that's the core of this pay dispute. But for me personally, one of the reasons why I'm striking is because I am sick and tired of seeing my patients come to harm because of policy decisions that are made outside of our hospitals, outside of our communities, by people who have no interest in fixing okay. the system. Well, tell, that is why I'm personally Tell me what, what you say to this person that's just texted me. It says, mm. Ian, tell him my 87-year-old dad, who he loved the bits, is relying on him. I, 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 I want that. That could, that could be read in two different ways, I, I, I can see, but I'm assuming. No, 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 no. But that, that, that represents, I, I, that represents a, a fear and anxiety about, about, the, about you know, a, 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 a patient's care that is justified, that is completely justified. There is, there is deep anger about the situation right now. And if we had a government that took this seriously, they would say, you know what, we don't want any strikes. Come back to the table. We'll call off the strikes. And then the, the, the government says, let's call off the strikes. Let's have a deal. Let's, 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 let's acknowledge that you have lost such a significant amount of, of, of pay in, in the last 15 years. And let's acknowledge that, that we are losing well, staff in record can, numbers. Can, can staff you, that are trained can, by, by, by the British public and, pay, and, and, for their tax, and, and by their taxes. Can you acknowledge one thing before we have to finish? That yeah, yeah, there yeah. have been talks ongoing between the BMA and the government for the last few weeks talks which i thought were actually probably going to result in something me too i was hopeful and, for that yeah but then they were called off by the government when you announced strike action oh you can understand why right. can't you i think that i think we didn't hear anything from the from the from the government for, for or from the government and also from the bma for some time and we were all hopeful that that a, a good deal was going to be made here but the, uh, our leadership determined very rightly that what was being offered to doctors right now is not going to stem the hemorrhage of staff that are leaving. We have to just let, let's 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 ignore opinion here. The fact is is that we have a staff crisis, and the fact is, is that that the NHS staff are leaving in record numbers and are going in strike in record numbers. We have to listen to them. We have to say, you know what? We're, and we're look. I, I'm from the United States. I'm, I can make four times as much going back to the United, going back home. But I prefer to stay here, knowing that in this system, our our wages are going to be significantly reduced compared to the U.S. compared to other private systems. But you'd what, think that would, I would, would want you... to privatize the system. You'd think that I would want to do that because I, I stand to make a lot more money. But no, it's not good well, for patients. Not, not it's not good for patient care. And can I just say one more thing? Well, I, I just want you to. Can I I'm not universally. In? I'm not universally, you know, uh, you know like I, I, I give this, this government fairly a lot of criticism because of how they've handled the NHS. But I just want you to know, I am, I am so disappointed 
with what we're hearing from labor. And I am, I'm not confident that, that, that they are going to put in place um, what we need to, to fix the NHS either. And so I'm, I'm fair about this, but this is, this is a pay dispute. Of course it is, but this is about a lot more. And that's why I'm fighting for, you know, that's why we but, are all joining given together. that it is we're a fighting pay for the NHS, given we're that... fighting for our patients and, and trying, to, trying to make sure that they have a system that is functional. Okay. G- in, given you know, that it, can I get a word in edgeways? Given, Please, given that it is a pay dispute, you yeah. will acknowledge that you've had 9% plus another 3% is on offer. That's 12%. Can you name me any other public sector workers that have got that amount of money out of this government? I, I do not know, but I do know that no other group of workers has... We, we have seen, we, we've seen you know, 10 times um, the, 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 the fall in our wages as, as, as the average UK worker um, from 15 years ago. There is something unique about this that I, I don't know. So you're what sticking it is. by the thirty-five percent. Well, I think that nobody's asking for that over. Uh, nobody's asking for that immediately. But the that's British exactly what the BMA have been no, doing right no, from no, the no, start. No. Honestly, no, not at all, not at all. They, I, I, the, 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 what, what, you know, uh, the, what the position of the union is is that that pay needs to be restored over time. But Nothing no, needs no, no. to be urgent. I'm, I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. I can't let you get away with that because right from the start of this, they have said they wanted 35% this year. And that's always been the stance of the BMA. They've been totally inflexible about it and not given any hint that they would show any degree of flexibility. Now, clearly nobody really ever thought that was achievable, but that is what their stance has been, as you well know. Well, and, and, the, and the government had their stance of saying that we're not going to give a dime more to anybody else. And so perhaps it was a negotiating position. I don't know. But I know what the current position and the current, the current sentiment among the entire staff right now is that that, that, that is something that we, can, that we can fix over time. But it ne- you need to understand, let's ignore our opinions here. There is a massive group of people that are that you know the, the the core of the workforce within the NHS doctors nurses and allied health professionals who are going on strike in record numbers and this government's ignoring them and people are people are leaving well, in record numbers to go work abroad and that's what, terrible one of my correspondents here uh, takes a rather different view he says this guy is a selfish word i can't then then say on the radio my father in law could have come home today if he could have had a feeding peg put in um, can't do because of this strike. This is political. It's not about safety. If so, they would have allowed patients like my father-in-law, who's depressed that he's been in hospital uh, since uh, bit, since the 3rd of December. So, I mean, look, you'll have a lot of people supporting you in those calls that we're about to have, but recognise that this strike today has had an effect not just on my correspondent there, but many other people too.